This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. How's it going? I've been in the studio most of the weekend working on some music, and I'm not quite finished. So instead of making a video for you guys, I thought I'd ask my lovely girlfriend Sugar Tits to fill in, so I could get back to it. When she asked me what the video should be about, I said it was completely up to her. So if this ends up being about the latest women's fashion or fucking menstrual products or some shit, then I apologise in advance. Anyway, have fun. Fuck's sake. Tonight on Bearing Exposed, we take a look behind the curtain and reveal that bad YouTube bear's hidden secrets with special guest, Sugar Tits. Oh hi guys, and welcome to this special edition of Bearing Exposed, where I'll be counting down 10 things you may or may not know about bearing. I'll let you in on some of Bering's personal habits and secrets, so we can all have a good little laugh at his expense. So without further a fucking around, let's get this show rolling. Number 10. Bering's Name Well maybe most of you know by now that it was in fact me that came up with the name Bering. The nickname dates way back before he started his YouTube channel. Why did I give him this name you might wonder? Well, if your partner is prone to rage freakouts, then goes back to being a teddy and also raids the kitchen of all food while you're sleeping, then you may just have a bearing of your own as a partner. Number 9. The Bearing Tits Song Remember that song Bearing made a video about where he changed the song lyrics from Sugar Tits to Bearing Tits? Well, that was originally a gimmick on my channel, where I used it because it had the name Sugar Tits in it. But Bering, being Bering, swooped in like a self-entitled gay flamingo and stole it away from me to make it the smash hit we love today. Bering, 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 Bering. Number 8. Has Bering mowed the lawn yet? No. Can you please mow the lawn, Bering? There's hidden dog shits all over the backyard that you can't see because of the length of the grass. <laughs> Number 7. Bering is a good cook. I figured I had to throw a nice one in here, as to not sound like a nagging bitch girlfriend. But don't worry, it's just one. Yes, Bering is a very good cook. He makes a great breakfast as it's his favourite meal, usually with eggs, a mountain of bacon and fried mushrooms. His other best meals are gnocchi marinara, chicken fajitas and an amazing roast pork with super salty crackling. The guy loves his salt. Seriously, he puts salt on his pizza for fuck's sake. Number 6. Bering is a pussy when it comes to spiders. Yes, Bering is hopeless with spiders. We had a cute little house spider living above the backyard door named Teddy, and he'd always run outside when he had to walk through. I even had to relocate it due to his bitch fits. I filmed this spider on our barbecue, and he refused to look at the footage for a day. But he does grow a sack when you put a can of bug spray in his hands. Number 5. Bering likes bath bombs. That's right. I bought a couple of bath bombs home recently with cocoa butter in them that makes your skin soft and smelling amazing. They're also fun to drop in the water and watch fizz up until they completely dissolve away. When I told Bering about this, he asked if he could use one. At first he was super nervous about what it was going to do and if it would explode. <laughs> but after he said it was great and we should get some more and that his skin felt amazing. <laughs> okay. Number four. Bering talks in his sleep. Most of the time it's incoherent ramblings, but I always find it amusing to listen to. He seems to be quite an active dreamer. Many times I've wished that I had recorded what he was saying, and one time, I just happened to get it. Let me know in the comments if you can make out what he's saying here. I hear, I get, I want of at that wash machine that day, or something like that. Little, 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 little
Number three. He deliberately buys food I don't like so he can eat it all. So after 14 years together, you think he would know what kinds of food I like and dislike. Oh, he knows. He's just a clever little fucker that's learned if he buys the kinds of junk food I don't like, he'll have it all to himself without worrying about me taking any. This is a highly evolved survival tactic for male bears, so he doesn't have to share his food with his partner. Number two, bearing is terrible at video games. Ask him if he's a good gamer, and of course he'll say yes, because in his mind he thinks he's wicked. But I've seen him play Call of Duty, and come the third or fourth level, he needs my help to get past it. Just watch him playing GTA here. His idea of a good session is finding a car and driving it through the hills and crashing it. Number one, Bering is mean to the drive through people. Every time we go through a drive through I pray that the person taking the order gets it right the first time, because he fucking hates repeating himself, and he will sarcastically yell back the order in a staccato tempo at the speaker box. It's just one of those things that gets right under his skin and pisses him off badly. I've told him not to piss off the teenagers preparing our food. I'm pretty sure I've eaten a few spit burgers and semen milkshakes because of his temper. Hearing, 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 hearing. Well, that's the top 10 Bering Secrets countdown, but I'll leave you all with just one more. You see, people have called Bering a lot of things in the past. A racist, a sexist, bigot, just to name a few. But you need to know, that's just not true. Bering is a kind, big-hearted person in real life. He just has a severe prejudice when it comes to African AIDS babies. <laughs> we